Hi, welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here and welcome to day three of my seven day, one sketch a day challenge. Today I'm going to be painting this sunset scene. I was inspired by, um, as always, or as almost always, a photograph that I found on Pixabay. This photograph here I just thought would be a lovely thing to try as a line and wash and just see if I can get the light in the sky. I'm using a Sea White of Brighton mixed media sketchbook so I'm probably going to struggle getting lovely effects because it's not watercolour paper, um, it's just cartridge paper. So I'll do my best and see what I can do. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, by the way, uh, before I start um, describing the process, if you're interested in my little A6 um, Sea White of Brighton sketchbook, I should put the details in the description below. And if you're interested in painting along with these sketching challenges, um, please don't forget to um, use the hashtag um, Lois Davidson Art on Instagram so you can share your work there which would be wonderful I'd love to see it and of course if you're a member of Patreon um, then please share your work in the private Facebook group so the first thing I'm doing um, after putting some washi tape as a border around my page to give me a nice white outline is using um, an HB pencil to simplify the scene and I've put in um, the sort of little slight rise that these big trees are growing from, um, a horizon line and a sort of a, a, some distant hills in the background and now I'm putting in just simple lines with my pencil to indicate where my main trees are. I'm keeping it as simple as I can, um, just the main features for this sketch to keep it nice and loose and nice and easy. Just a few branches coming off the tree. I'm going to paint this as a line and wash so most of the branches I can put in with my fine liner pencils. Uh, pens rather, um, they will be waterproof fine liners um, and the next thing that I'll do is use the fine liners to go over the outlines I've got here in pencil. That will give me my outline. It will also eventually give me um, some of my darkest darks and it will give me some lovely texture as well. This is a Pigma Micron uh, 0.3 of a millimetre nib and it is a waterproof fine liner. And then later on, I might use a 0.8 millimeter nib and I'll probably move up to a um, Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pen chisel nib for my nice thick darkest trunks and to get in some of my darkest shadows. But the important thing here is just to follow my pencil lines, keep my line work nice and loose and nice and free. Now here is the chisel tip going in. You can see how much thicker that nib is. I think it's a 1.5 millimeter chisel tip and it's straight away giving me those, the strongest trunks that I'm looking for um, to give some variety to the line width of the line work in that patch of trees. Sorry about my hand getting in the way, but um, that's the problem with a tiny little sketchbook like this. And I'm going to just scribble hatch in some shading across the base of the trees where they're in shadow. And then just a few little marks, um, quite dark, um, just to indicate a, a line of, of trees in the far distance, just before that line of hills that we'll put in at the back um, with paint. We'll wash that in later. And now there's a sort of, in, in the photograph, there's a freshly cut uh, field where some crop has been cut and there's lots of stubble left in the field. So I'm just literally dotting in and dashing in a few marks just to represent that and suggest it. 
And then going back to my 0.3 fine liner and putting in some really fine branches leaning into the painting and that should really help to draw attention to the sunset when I paint it in in a bit. So once I'm sure that my fine liner is dry, then I'm going to wet the page all over uh, with clean water using my Skoda size 14 synthetic round brush. And first of all, I'm going to use the classic cobalt blue just to bring in some of that lovely deep blue sky. And then I shall use a mixture of burnt sienna and raw sienna and leaving some areas of unpainted paper for the lightest areas of the sky, just to indicate my sunset. Remember what I said earlier, this is not watercolour paper, so I've got to be careful. It won't take much paint, um, and it could give, give me some nasty marks if I try and do too much to it. So this keeps me really simple, making sure that I don't overwork anything. Then once I've got the sky mostly done, I can get a little bit of colour into the land. I'm doing it all now with this size 14 brush and that keeps me loose as well because I can't fiddle too much with this big brush. So this is another limited palette sketch. Um, I'm using cobalt blue, burnt sienna, raw sienna, there's a bit of sepia and there's a little bit of um, Payne's grey just added to darken some of the areas up and I'm also going to use a tiny dash of vermilion um, to give me a bit of um, shadow colour for the distant hills. So I'm just working around the stubble marks that I drew with the fine liner and trying to keep my brush strokes horizontal to keep that field nice and flat, but getting some variation in colour and tone. And here's where I've added a bit of vermilion to my cobalt blue for that slightly purpley, paler, um, shadowed colour for my distant hills. It just pushes that back, brings everything else forward a bit. I can use a bit of that shadow colour um, across the foregrounds as well. And then just using a palette knife, um, scraping here and there just a few little um, little marks in the foreground to get the light glinting off some of those um, little stubble bits that are sort of growing up in the field. Not too much though. So just working in and around my line work just trying to sort of build up that sort of little bit more interest in the field itself. Now I've mixed up a green with my cobalt blue and my um, raw sienna, so it's quite a sort of a cool dark green, um, or sorry, a warm dark green, and I'm pulling it across below the tree line just to give a nice plane of land and to push the hills further backwards. I can just dab that out with a tissue as it went on a little bit dark. And now just a few more um, fine twigs added with the fine liner just to finish things off. I can put some more sort of twigs, build up a sort of a thicker um, sort of thicket of branches and twigs here with the tree um, just to balance up the composition a little bit and just to put a little bit more of a tangle of branches in. And now here's my chisel tip, um, wide chisel tip fine liner again and you can see that I'm using the whole width of the chisel tip now to put in a few trees that are much wider and stronger than the rest. This adds a bit of variety to the thicket of trees. 
being careful not to go over all the trees, of course, because then I will get rid of the variety. So just enough to add a few larger trees amongst the rest of the trees there because it was looking a little bit uniform. And now I'm going to carefully peel off my washi tape. And here's my day three sketch. Um, it's, a, it's lovely. I love these tiny sketches. I usually paint much larger, quarter imperial size. So for me, painting this small, it's completely new. And I must admit, I'm absolutely loving it. And I quite like the um, nice sort of um, twilight atmosphere that we've got here. Uh, I just think I'm going to um, go with my fine liner and just define um, the distant hills from that sort of unpainted area there, which I'm going to say is a distant lake, seeing as it's sort of picking up the light. So that's day three finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you join me on this seven day painting challenge, don't forget to share your work on Instagram with the hashtag, hashtag Lois Davidson Art. And if you're a member of Patreon, then please show us all um, in the private Facebook group. We'd love to see your work there. So please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And please um, come back similar time tomorrow for day four of my seven day sketching challenge. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And I'll see you again soon. And happy painting and happy sketching. Bye.